The only stability in Michelle Colvert's life came to an end this week. Now the mother of three is once again having to move because the Denver motel she's been staying in is shutting down. Well, Denver 7's Brian Wang met Colvard last week during our coverage of the Quality Inn's closure. Today he followed up with her move and found out how you can help. We take three buses to get him to school. It's the 28th, the 31, and then the 16th. Every single day for a year. No less than three buses. Until today. Is that heavy? They keep asking me where we're going. For Michelle Colvard, it was a morning filled with moving boxes and endless questions from her three children. Where are we going to be? Where are we going to stay? Questions she's heard before, answers that haven't always been there after escaping their former lives. It wasn't safe for them and it wasn't safe for me. And I felt like um, as opposed to like telling my husband that I was going to leave him, I just left. I didn't tell him anything. I, I just couldn't stay anymore. I couldn't stay anymore. So I left him. He's physically, emotionally just abusive. And I just didn't want to do it anymore. And so I left him. One year on the run, two states away, her three children with her, and the Quality Inn off Zunai and 27th has been their home since. We haven't had this type of stability or consistency in our life in years. The motel opened as a city-run homeless shelter during the pandemic. It's been a safe haven for more than 150 people since, one that the city is now shutting down Friday. This whole situation is quite devastating in itself. For now, another shelter will serve as their temporary home as they look for a place they can call their own. The only way that I feel like this can get better is again if we have our own place. And I'm not really sure what's stopping that. Um, but we're ready. We're ready. We're going to appreciate having our own place. We're going to be grateful. A mother short of options, looking for answers, and a little bit of help. I need you to stay close to it. Bayon Wang, Denver 7. They need a little bit of hope. Now, here's the part where you step in. Tonight, we've opened a Denver 7 Gives Fund for Colvert and her family to try to help them find a new home. If you would like to donate, scan the QR code that's right there at the bottom of your screen, or you can visit denver7.com. Just be sure to donate to Stable Housing for Mother of Three.